Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Crown of the Sunken King. In this episode, I want to fight a boss. I really want to fight a boss. And I want it to completely kick my ass. I want a really, really hard boss. I'm, I feel in the mood for that. So, I have two keys. Now, what of these I tried on that door that I've seen that's already locked? Um, which one was it? I think it was the Dragonstone. Yeah, the stone that operates Sanctum Contraption. That one didn't work, but maybe the Eternal Sanctum Key will open the door. So, I want to go try that on that door. Also, I, uh... At the behest of my viewers, I took a look at the description for... The Bombs. Not bombs as in explody bombs, but the bombs as in B-A-L-M. So I picked up these in here. One of these increases strength, and the other one increases faith. This special fragrant oil affects the mind, granting a fleeting sense of empowerment. Not sure how much that actually matters. I mean, just in terms of stats, the only thing strength really does for me is increases my damage by a little bit. The thing is, though, my weapon is not very strength-based. Where do you see the stats for my weapon? It's in here. Uh, I don't remember where it says what it requires. There we go. Yeah, it requires 20 strength and 14 dexterity. And the scaling is E, which I'm pretty sure is not very good. But nonetheless, I put it on my little kind of hotbar thing down here, and let's go ahead and use it. So let's see how much that actually did. How much does it increase it? Will it show me here? Strength? Uh, I don't think it shows it there. I have no idea. Maybe I can jump super far now? Nope. I have no idea what that's good for, really. Temporary strength increase. Maybe I can, like, move boulders now? Can I move the very walls? Break through it? And it's gone. Okay, well, let's go try this key. This may be a terrible idea, but I'm going to try running past him. Let's see how this works out. Can you, can you follow me? Are you smart enough to follow me without falling off? Okay. I'm not going to dodge those attacks. I am not dodging here. Nope. And I still can't activate this, right? Nope. And there's no switch on the ceiling? Come on, Key. Yes, Eternal Sanctum Key. What horrors await me inside? Oh, hi. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, great. Poison Cloud. Shove that moss in my face. Use a life gem. Treasure. Well, no shit. Always gotta check for a fake. Don't wanna get nom nommed by the treasure chest. Dried root. Dried root, dried root. I'll need to remember to check that. Lightning Clutch Ring. Okay, actually, let's check these before I forget them. 
lightning clutch. Increases lightning attack. Ring depicting a hand grasping a stone. Increases lightning attack, but reduces physical defense. The origin of this ring is unknown, but its design suggests one of the darker deities. Effective use of this ring requires skill on the part of its wearer. Well, I don't use lightning, and even if I did, that sounds kind of terrible. Reduces physical defense. No thanks. Okay, Dread Root. I'm guessing it looks like a root. Yes. Oh, yeah, restores HP for a long period. That's right. I get so suspicious when I see huge rooms full of treasure chests. Like, come on. One of them's gonna gobble me up. Lots and lots of dried root. That is an extremely large amount of dried root. Maybe I can brew some tea. It's a blood stain on top. Wonderful. No, 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 hold on. What does that say? Listen carefully and then be wary of bug. Oh, they're no problem. They're pansies. A good biff here and a biff there, and they're all dead. I have for my equipment there, though. How's it doing? Eh, it's okay. Golden fruit. Is that this one? Yeah, it's that one. The one that increases faith. Looks like the wall is metamorphosizing into something else. Oh, that's a bonfire. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Calm down. That's a long bridge. Lots of things can happen on a log bridge. For example, you could fall off it. Or you could take two steps and get burned by a dragon. I'm suspicious of bridges. What's up here? Just a pathway. Alright. Hmm. Invaded by Dark Spirit Rock Shield Baldir. I think you're AI. Come on, fight me. What the f. What the. <laughs> what was that? Thank you, it looks like you've given me a blessing. You have a lot of health. And your attacks are very fast. I, I don't know what the hell that is. It doesn't seem to hurt me though. And I seem incapable of stunning them. Where I dodge here, some of the guardrails are a little bit broken.
That was annoying to fight. Yes, I, I know you've been banished. Can I drink my Estus? There we go. For some reason it was grayed out until I recycled my quick selection thing back to it. Yeah, this probably goes down to that thing. That, uh... Thing that looked just like this. Probably is some sort of a shortcut. Stay calm. Can do. Help me. I uh, wish I could. There we go. Elevator service, please. I'm guessing this thing is probably activated now. Like, I can probably activate it from down below. Even if not, there's always the bonfire up there. Oop. Mmm, that's how you get this. Treasure ahead. I remember seeing this dude. <laughs> Five torches? <laughs> Thanks. It's a pretty shitty treasure. It's like, congratulations! Here's some sticks with some rags bundled on the top. Aren't you glad you found me? But perhaps there's greater treasure this way. Impossible, but quite something ahead. Eh. Uh, I was gonna say I'm not even gonna check this one, but actually there's a bloodstain, so let's check it. No, it's fine. Seems legit. Dark Greatsword. Wait, is that a spell? A Greatsword spell? What? Oh, yeah, Soul Greatsword. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna be using that. How did you die? I don't... What? How could you possibly fight an enemy here? I, I don't understand. Where could you possibly get an enemy to come to you here? Maybe it was an invader or something. How do I leave? I suppose I'll just do this. Seems simpler. Yeah, I don't believe there's anything else down there. I think it just goes all the way to the bottom. With only one stop, so let's continue on ahead. Come on, I want a boss. Ooh, I think it's a boss. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a bonfire right there. It seems too easy, almost. Liar ahead. I also don't see any summon signs, so maybe not. Let's see. Is it a boss? Is it a boss? No, it's not. Okay, I didn't think so. Stay calm and then do it. Beware of Dark Spirit or Trio. These really do seem like some sort of a pressure plate, or, you know, something you can activate, but it appears not. Let's light the way. I see you.
Next. Oh, you're already giving up? Come on. Come on. Is that... That's petrification, isn't it? That really didn't do much petrification, though. I'm not too worried about it. This place is creepy as hell, though. And there's an awful lot of them. Alright, well, let's grab a torch and let's go on down. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting like 20 types of fucked here. I hated these in a black gulch, and I hate them here. Thankfully, though, it takes more than two shots to completely ruin your day. I suppose the reason for that is because... Ow, that's hurt my toe. Um, <laughs> I suppose the reason for that is because if you get petrified, you're dead. Whereas if you get poisoned, you're not, necessarily. And I don't believe I can hurt that thing. Nope. Well, I guess I could try this. He <laughs> did, like, 30 points of damage. Ah! Asshole. Oh, come on, break the... Oh, Jesus. Uh, Alright, I, I should probably put on my ring of petrification resistance. Which is somewhere. Um, oh, yes, I know what it looks like. It looks like this, right? Yeah, petrification resistance. Let's go with that. Let's uh, test it out. How much does it do? Oh yeah, that helps a lot. It doesn't protect me against getting shot in the face with an arrow, though. Never mind, shot in the arm. Shot through the arm. Do 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 do. Okay, well. Oh god, there's so many of them. Thankfully though, I don't even really need to worry about it. Yeah, this ring is doing work. I really don't have to worry about getting petrified. And I don't think it does any damage. Come on. No, does no damage. Okay, sweet. It's annoying, but at least, you know, even though it is a little bit distracting, I can at least try to ignore it. Because it really doesn't matter. Hey, Smelly. Okay, there's a lot of ways to go. And I would like to light the way. I think I've still got a bunch of those torches left. Uh, not the torches, but the things that light the torches. Eh, YOLO. I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> what could go wrong? Petrified somethings. Um, what do you do with those again? I can't remember if I ever actually figured that out. 
Do you give them to the birds? Or whatever those things are? Back at the starting area? You know, the uh, smooth and shiny whatever things? Excuse me. Excuse me. Bright bug. Whoa. That sounds neat. See if I can find it on visuals alone. What, what would it look like? What would a bright bug look like? I don't see it. It did go into here, didn't it? Bright bug, bright bug, bright bug. There it is. Inflict more damage, receive less. Whoa, that sounds nice. A, a tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to comfort the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the undead crypt. By ingesting a bright bug just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly. One attains great power for a short time, often utilized as a last resort for adventurers who have lost their way. Has no effect in other worlds or for phantoms. Okay, so you can't use that for PvP, which is good. Well, let's go ahead and uh, put that here. I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't think they they don't seem useful. Could be nice for boss fights. Checking for secrets. I think there's only one way out of here, which is... this way. Let's go ahead and light a torch. That looks like a boss. Those things, hi. Giant butthole. No kidding. Okay. Let's see if this thing's a boss. Ally required ahead. Weakness back. Okay, I think this is the boss. Okay. I think this is my first boss for the crown of the sunken king. I don't actually know how big this DLC is, by the way. Like, how many bosses does it have? One? Two? Three? Four? Five? I have no idea. Let's go! Come on! Yes! Yes, boss! You look like Havel. Alright, Bow Dude. You first! Mr. Fancy Feet. Fuck you! Oh god! This is not good. Not good, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought would happen. 
Okay. Huh. I recognize these people. There's like Havel the Rock. There's the person wearing that, uh, like that pirate woman's mask. Hmm. Three people. That's a lot to manage. That is a lot to manage. I want to go for the bow person first, but they move so fast. I don't know if I can, like, separate them, you know? Huh. We'll see. Alright, where's my other ring? There we go. Should be easy enough to get back there. In fact, I could probably just run to it. I'm probably gonna want to use some wood. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna want to use my wood before I fight the bot, the uh, the bosses. Oh shit! Go down the hole quickly. Out of my way. Yeah, let's give that stuff a shot. All right, let's put it on my quick bar here, my rubies. And let's see how much HP it actually restores, and for how long. <laughs> That's a very small amount of HP. Pretty much useless in a boss fight, okay. Maybe the Elizabeth Mushroom would be better, although I've never used that either. Okay, here we go. Come on, Havel. You first, huh? Holy shit. Oh, holy crap! to think, like, when's my opportunity to heal myself? I don't really see an opening. I knew. I'll be around if you make it back. Almost fell down that huge gaping hole. That would have been mildly disturbing. Yeah, I'm trying to think of when I can heal. I mean, there's three of them. Like, I can't just dodge one of their attacks and then just, I'm good. And I can heal. That doesn't work. So when can I heal? Maybe I can't. Well, I don't think I should take on Havel first, so... Let's ignore him. Maybe I can get them to, like, fall into the water or something. Jesus. Okay, here's my chance to heal. Alright, there we go. What if I fall into the water? Do I just, like, die? F 
fucking hell. <laughs> like that tiny little sword knocks me down. Come on. Oh my god, everything knocks me down. Jesus! Alright, well, let's see what happens when I go down here. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. It actually gets me out of the arrows, which is actually quite nice. Hmm. Yes. Gives me time to focus on her. Okay. Uh, I'm liking that. Don't poke me! Get your fucking needle out of my side. You're not Arya Stark. Get away from me. Okay, if I can take her down, then that frees me up quite a bit. Okay. 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 I can do two, right? Maybe. I have the high ground. I win. Uh, maybe not. Uh. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna stun Havel the Rock. Not even with two hits. His poise is too high. So, I need to go for the other dude, if I can. Um, let's see if there's anything else in the environment. Like, I mean, that's not going to affect them, is it? No. That doesn't matter. That was not a good place for me to go. I don't know where Havel is. Oh, there he is. It's like, I don't know where he is, but he's going to show up, and he's uh, not going to be... He's, he's going to crash the party. Ah! Uh... Okay, this is actually working very, very well. Havel doesn't seem to know how to walk up the steps. Well, they're not steps. Walk up the uh, slight incline. It is beyond his abilities. He was trained to fight. He wasn't trained to walk. Come on, I need you to separate. I need you to separate like bad old milk. Or new milk if you put lemon juice in it because the acidity makes it curdle or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Separate. Shit. 
<laughs> their pathfinding is not very good. Alright, well, I can do this forever. Watch, I'm gonna spend all this time doing this, and then I'm gonna get, like, one-shotted. By Havel. I know his name's not actually Havel, it's apparently Ancient Soldier Varg, but whatever, it's Havel. <laughs> what the hell was that? <gasps> Did a couple 360s. They are not separating. Come on. Here we go. Oh, damn it. I could have had him there, too. He's really low. Come on. Yes, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking Varg. Please come first. Please come for Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Okay. No, too close! Ah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. It's you and it's me. Come on. Shit, I'm out of Estus. Hold on, hold on. I need to switch. And my D-pad is broken, so I unselected my weapon. Okay. Let's um let's preemptively take dried root. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's like no I one shot. I can take one shot. And then dodge! No, don't fucking attack my back. I was attacking the opposite way I wanted to attack. Ooh, I stunned him. Yeah, eat that. Eat that, motherfucker. How do you like that poise? Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, almost got him. Don't change my tactic, this is working. <laughs> yes. Okay. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Wasn't extremely hard. Definitely wasn't easy. I kind of had to exploit their pathfinding, sort of, to uh, really even stand a decent chance, but eh, it worked. What did I get for that? I think it's just a bunch of stuff for upgrading my armor and weapons. Okay. I wanted a boss fight, and I got it. There's no way that's the only one, though. There's there's no way. It's got to be something more epic, right? Because that wasn't epic. It was good, but it wasn't epic. I mean, there's the dragon that they've been teasing. Blackweed bomb, that's new. Probably upgrades another stat, right? Yeah, intelligence. <sighs> Quite something ahead. Flower skirt. That sounds beautiful.
skirt of a nameless troubadour. High durability, despite its appearance. While troubadours uh, can get by on their own through wily use of their arts for the most part, they might still require a generous patron. The stunning arrangement of layered flowers on this skirt is designed to capture the attention of a candidate for the position. Aw, that sounds lovely. Hold on. Let's... There we go. Okay, I need a, like, a matching top, because I'm wearing, <laughs> like, <laughs> basically an old rag as a bra. But, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful skirt. I'm not really sure why it comes with high heels. I don't know if they fit. I don't know if I like the high heels. That's pretty cool looking. That is not a good look. <laughs> that is really not a good look. Alright. That's a pretty good look. I wore nothing but the hat. And the skirt. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. The party don't start till I get there. Wait, what can I see out here? Hmm. Nothing of particular interest. Sanctum City. Wait, did I just... This is where I just, um... Came from, yeah. Well, shit, I looped around. So was that an entirely optional boss? Like, did I... What did I actually get from that that I needed? I think I just got stones. I, I wasn't really looking. I was kind of celebrating my victory too much to look at what I got. Oh! Okay. I backstepped. That's what happens when you press B. Without choosing a direction. Instead of uh, rolling, you backstep. Like this. Anyway, no big deal. So, yeah. There's gotta be more, right? I mean, I still have another key thing. Like, I use the Eternal Sanctum key, right? But I didn't use the Dragonstone. Stone that operates Sanctum Contraption. I feel like I missed something in there. Like, I went all that way and I, I just got some stones for defeating those people. And that's it. I feel like I missed something. Did I? I don't know. I do believe there's an entire area that I didn't go through, though. For all I know, it leads nowhere, but let's go check it out. I'm pretty sure it's, like, right back at the beginning, right? Didn't I never really go down here? Or is this the place that has a thing you can't activate? Oh, okay. Well, shit, what am I missing, then? <laughs> Where can I go? There's, There's gotta be more to this. There's no way that was it. No freaking way. You look like you came right out of Final Fantasy. Hmm. I don't know, let me do some looking around. Okay, well, this is a new area that I found. It's up this ladder. 
It's the area where I could either keep going up the ladder and go to this area, or I could continue on forwards to the bonfire. I never actually went up here, so let's check it out. There doesn't seem to be that much up here, though. There's a chest. The Sanctum Shield. Let's check that out. Aside from that, though, there's only, like, two torch things that I can light, and that seems to be it. Hmm. It's really cool looking. A shield with a curious design, one of the treasures of the Sunken King. A mixture of mystical tree branch and sacred chime iron allows the shield to serve as a catalyst for miracles and sorceries. Most of the miracles and sorceries created in the Sanctum City were lost, but the quality of their armor and shield suggests highly advanced craftsmanship. Hold on, what's the, uh, help key is this right? There we go. Yeah, wow, so this little shield actually has better damage reduction than this thing. That is very impressive. And it even weighs less, too. Holy crap. I want to see what that thing looks like. Oh, I can't use it effectively. What do I need? Oh, it needs, like, magic stuff. That thing has more damage reduction than that huge, like, kite shield. It's so cute! <laughs> That's the, I don't know what the fuck to do with this thing. Huh? I'm too dumb. Whoops, I didn't mean to take off my shirt. Okay, so yeah, the only thing actually up here are these two things. Nothing above me around the sides, it's just some crumbled pillars. So I'm going to try lighting them and hope that something magical happens, because if not, I have no idea where to go. I mean, I actually have an idea of where I need to get in the end. Like, I think I need to go down. Because I don't know if you remember, but there's a bunch of creatures. Uh, can we see them? You can't really see them, but there's a bunch of creatures down there. And in fact, I think you can even see an item. You see that little blue dot? Like, there's actually an item down there, which means you can get down there. I just don't know how to get there. Alright, let's see what these say. Gorgeous view ahead. Pointless? Eh, most likely. Let's go ahead and light them up. it was completely pointless. Yay! I still don't know where to use that contraption device. I'm gonna keep looking around. Ah, here's something I missed. So, right here, this place that I've seen many, many times before. There is this door here, and there's a button above me. Wow, five twinkling dite night. That is really, really good. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I found out where I'm supposed to go. So, it's back down here, if you remember this place that used to have the spikes, I disabled them. And then up there is where you can jump across to get to that guy. Well, I mean, <laughs> is where you can't jump across to get to that guy. And if you go down here, well, this seems to lead to an area with a lot of things. Looks like you can keep going down and down and down. Okay, so this is what I'm missing, I think. I think that's where I'm supposed to go, but I have an idea of something I might be able to do. Do you remember this? And I was trying to think of, how do I open this? You know, how do I get that to spin? Well, there's a button on the other side, and I was thinking maybe it's a shortcut, like at some point you'll get behind that thing and you can enable the shortcut. But then I thought, wait a minute, maybe if I get up there, I can hit it with an arrow. Hmm? Let's try it. Ah, 
I think I'm just gonna wait here. Okay. Damn it. That dodge was almost perfect. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look good. Stink cloud. Okay. Ooh, I think I can hit that. Look at that. <laughs> I forgot. You can't press the uh, the right trigger, or I mean, sorry, left trigger or left bumper to aim down or go into first-person mode unless you have it in both hands. So if you have it in just one hand, all that does is punch. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, shit. Uh, no, this should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just. Just gotta go down. C come on. Oh, do I have no ammo? Oh, I have no ammo. Shit. <laughs> well, that'll do it. What's the crappiest stuff I have? I don't know. Magic arrow? Sure. Whoops. There we go. Hello, treasure. I feel pretty smart for having figured that out. Pointless ahead, by the way, man. Eh. I'm hoping you're not telling the truth. Please don't be telling the truth. Please don't be a... Please don't be like 20 torches. Denial. Well, it's pointless to me, but uh, maybe to a magic user. See what it does. Ancient Miracle O to the Cardinal of Shulva. Challenge fate one time when HP reaches zero. Originally intended to grant the dying a few moments for a final farewell. So, it basically gives you an extra life. That seems pretty good. Doesn't matter to me, but... I'm glad I found it, nonetheless. Alright, let's see what's down here. I need to find a bonfire soon. Fire ahead, therefore try beating to a pulp. Dark spirit ahead, by the way, be wary of pyromancy. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So, it sounds like it's a mage. Woo, I... Jester Thomas, I guess that's the dark spirit. Or is that separate? You're not very funny. Oh god. Ah, I don't want to be here. Shit. You have a lot of health. I'm just gonna keep interrupting you. No cast for you, motherfucker! Wow, that's basically an exploit. <laughs> look, at the, look at this. Oh, he dodged that one. The hell was that? I 
I, I don't think I want to step into that. I think it's like an explosion fire trap or something. Shit. Wait, is it healing him? I feel like he's getting healed. Son of a bitch. It is healing him. Fuck. No heals for you, motherfucker! Jesus! God. Yeah, it's pretty much a nightmare. Okay, uh, healing, healing, uh, repair powder, I mean. How, what? How do you use the fucking powder on your weapon? You've got to be kidding me. What is he doing? He's blowing himself up. I've like never used a repair powder. How do how do you use it on your weapon? It, it just says repair is equipment. Okay. Does it does it not repair broken equipment? Does it only repair partially broken equipment? I mean, that'd be dumb, but maybe that's the case. I mean, either way, I'm fucked. I literally have no backup weapon. At least, literally have no backup weapon that I've selected that is of my type. I mean, none of this stuff really works. I guess I'll whip him to death. Watch out! All right, he's probably healed up to max again. No, he's not. All right. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can find a bonfire. Oh shit! Oh, okay. All right. Let's go through the mist. I'll take it. Yes, now we're down here. And I have no weapon. <laughs> Jester Thomas is getting even more healed. And that's a goddamn mini T-Rex. Well, this is gonna go just swell. <gasps> it's a bonfire. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Blend in. Just, just blend in. Okay, it's it's like I'm uh, pretending to be a zombie. I've rubbed myself in guts. I can do it. Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, shit. Quickly! Ah! I got it! Yes, I got it! Oh. <laughs> okay, good enough. Good enough. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. Do you realize how far I would have had to go to get back here? I would have had to respawn all the way back up there, go into the temple, go all the way down and get here. Lair of the Imperfect. Alright. Well, that's a pretty good place to end this episode. Yeah, I've made some really good progress, and I've fought my first Crown of the Sunken King boss. And it was a pretty good boss fight. I like it. Good amount of challenge. 
I'm still waiting for an epic bat, uh, battle with a dragon or something, though. I'm gonna quit before that thing kills me. I'm just gonna travel. Let's just travel. They're eyeing me and it's making me uncomfortable. So, yeah, when I come back, I will have my equipment repaired and I'm gonna fight some mini T Rexes, I guess. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far and I will be back soon.